In both the realm of Star Wars and the world of movies, Luke Skywalker is the most well-known Jedi of all time. Luke is generally regarded as the most powerful character in the two main Star Wars entertainment universes, the Star Wars canon and the Star Wars legends. However, this isn't completely accurate or practical. Is Luke really unbeatable? Welcome back to the channel, people! It's good to see you again! Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you're new here and like these sorts of videos because it frequently produces interesting content. You may ensure that you never miss an update by choosing the bell icon upon subscribing. Okay, let's begin the video straight away. Despite suffering terrible injuries on Mustafar, Darth Vader is still one of the most formidable figures in the Star Wars universe. The Sith Lord was frequently shown winning battles, and he could quickly dispatch practically anybody who stood in his way. What was unique about Vader's duel with Luke at the end of Star Wars Return of the Jedi, where Luke manages to knock him to the ground quite easily? While the fight between Luke and his father does last a while, Luke is usually defending himself. Vader's blows are deflected by him as he bounces around the throne room, and his father makes provocative remarks. But when Vader brings up Leah, Luke loses control and launches a barrage of strikes that, in just under 40 seconds, brings his father to the ground. The combat ended fairly quickly, considering how little preparation Luke had compared to Vader's years of experience. So, was the fight worth it? There are, however, a lot of explanations for why the battle unfolded as it did. The conflict with Invader, perhaps the most significant of all, comes after his recent conversation with his son on Endor. Luke was adamant that Anakin could come back until the very end, and Vader even showed his first signs of humanity by declaring, it's too late for me, son, in his final moments. Vader didn't truly want to kill his own son, and it was evident that the dialogue had an impact on him. Vader complied with Palpatine's instructions since his main objective was to turn Luke against the light. Vader could have easily attacked Luke when he was fighting back with all of his might, but his main goal was to prod his son slowly. But as soon as he brought up Leia, the provocation was too successful, and Luke retaliated with all his rage, completely surprising Vader. Vader was already exhausted and panting when the actual fight started since he had been using all of his strength to terrify Luke. But is the physicality of both Luke and Vader the same? This brings up another significant aspect, namely the age gap. Vader was approaching his late 40s, whereas Luke was a young and energetic 23-year-old. Of course, as was demonstrated in Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, Palpatine's advanced age did not significantly affect his ability to fight. Vader, however, faced unique challenges because he was battling a perpetually decomposing body. Since his loss on Mustafar, Anakin had become dependent on trips to his back to tank to stay alive, and even the Vader suit itself was a low enough quality for Palpatine to keep him under control. Vader was therefore caught in his most vulnerable position due to his deteriorating physique, unbalanced mentality, and the surprise of Luke's strike. The years of rage had finally taken a toll, and his quick defeat made it clear why Palpatine was looking for a new apprentice. Despite Vader's flaws, Luke wasn't untrained, in fact, he spent a lot of time developing his use of the Force following Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, and was probably the most proficient lightsaber user Vader had encountered in a while. Final Conclusion Whatever your opinion of Luke, Darth Vader could not have been defeated by the power he possessed in Return of the Jedi. Luke utilized Force to gain the upper hand because he had previously battled his father and was aware of his strategies. Only Luke Skywalker is recognized as genuinely defeating Darth Vader in the Star Wars canon. The amusing aspect is that Darth Vader allowed him to win, but only after deciding he would lose. Luke Skywalker is justifiably revered throughout the galaxy since he is the only person who could have caused those events to occur. Luke's abilities increased as he got older and studied more. Having said that, both of them are awesome in their own way. But Luke has to be the winner, definitely. We hope you had fun watching the video. If you agree, please click like and leave a comment with your ideas. If you want to see more amazing videos like this one, you can subscribe to the channel. Till then, have a great day, and as always, thanks for your time.